Hello, you all. You already know what we finna do. Rising, rising, rising. You already know what we finna do. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. See what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. What does our Elohim want us to know at this time? What does our Elohim... Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. With the Page of Swords. In the Chariot. And the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. So somebody's going through some changes, okay? Somebody is going through some life changes. They could be inspired to do so uh, by what they're watching. Uh, whatever they're paying attention to is helping them overcome obstacles here. Something that they were uncertain of, but they're seeing the rewards of, you know, the changes that these things can bring within their life. Okay, somebody standing their ground, even under attacks here, and things are balancing out for them too as well here. Somebody could be a Cancer. Somebody could uh, have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus in their chart too as well. Or Leo. So they're seeing the fruits of this. Whatever they see is they're taking action towards it. And look, we have the emperor. So they're taking action towards it. They're in authority. They're on their throne here, healing. Somebody is gaining a higher consciousness at this time. So somebody's life is changing. Yep, we have badass being full of life, love, and possibilities here. Okay, somebody could feel trapped by this occurring. Um, somebody feels like by somebody having a higher consciousness or whatever the case may be that is going to leave them unstable. Okay, have them be juggled, have them stressed out. Um, so they could be trying to offer somebody this little love here, which is some underhandedness. So you should just swim away from this. And continue to transform, okay? This is the communication that you're getting to still have this metamorphosis and bring justice and balance in your life. You need to block out the devil or block out anything. It could be a mother. It could be a baby mother. Somebody got Taurus and Libra in a chart. Continue to evolve. Let no one get in the way of that. Things will clear up. Whatever somebody is offering you here is is sneaky and underhanded. Even if somebody is with child, this is some it's sneaky and underhanded here. Or even saying that they are. But know that things will clear up. Somebody is trying to go against you here. Somebody that you're partnered up with. Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Gemini here. Okay. This is somebody that you can have some form of regret about. Um, regret celebrating with them, drinking with them, having a time with them, or getting in a form of higher commitment with them. You wish you would have said no. Uh, this person was holding you back, had hidden intentions, but this is who you partnered up with here. Maybe for abundance. So, um, 
Yeah, somebody got Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Gemini, or Taurus in a chart, or Cancer. Is this person who is this Seven of Swords energy, sneaky lying, underhanded, probably did something like that to even get a child to as well? Yeah, this person is the Knight of Swords. They could be trying to conf uh, confront you, have confrontation with you, but this individual went against you here. Five of Swords. Wanting a victory over you, but it may be end up being an empty victory. Something may happen with this child or pregnancy here. Um, this, this something was done out of jealousy, pure jealousy here. Um, they're gonna even if they do end up carrying a child and bearing a child, they're gonna even still feel like it's an empty victory here because you're still gonna walk away from them. You're still going to walk away from them in the cycle because you're learning here. You, you're you inspired and don't drop that from nobody, okay? Things may come up against you to make you drop that and not evolve and not do better for yourself. But And this is the truth, Ace of Swords. But you have to keep going to get to the things that are promised for you in life here. Yeah, this is somebody from the past. This is somebody from your past here. Um, yeah, this is somebody from your past. Yeah, truth and clarity about someone from your past. You thought that you was going to have a happy family with this person. Um, or they wanted completely happiness with you. So they plant this out. With the Page of Pentacles, definitely a child somewhere or something like that. They thought that you were going to run away with them, sell off with them, be with them. But we have the death here with the Ten of Swords. This is in judgment. Judgment has been called on this offer here. Um, an announcement, a decision is being made on this situation. Somebody could be a Scorpio. Somebody could have even threatened to cause your death or want to cause your death. Do something deadly here to completely ruin you. But judgment is being called on whatever this individual is trying to do here. It's being illuminated. Illumination. Yeah, somebody trying to conceive here with this Ace of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles fell on the floor. So this is a Leo. Hold on. This could be a Leo, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person want to be a mother. Want to be a mother and wife. Hold on. This person want to be a mother and wife so bad that they was willing to do anything, even go against you, to conceive. Could even be an Aries. So this person was thoughtless, careless, foolish, and caused a whole lot of heartbreak, trauma, and chaos here. And, um... This person is going to end up like this for whatever they did. They're going to be heartbroken with this child that they tried to trap you with. Because here come the tower. They didn't expect you to walk away. They expected you to want the victory with them and team up with them. So, yeah, but the cycle is ending. You must be wanting to end something with this individual because you see, you see what they are. No matter how they appear or how they look, they could be beautiful. They could have status. They can have things. But this individual is sneaky, dirty, and underhanded here. Demonic energy trying to bind somebody to them by way of pregnancy. So it's going to be an end of a cycle learning a lesson about this higher form of commitment here. Somebody got Taurus in a chart. Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. Scorpio. Yep. Whole lot of humping. I'ma get I'ma get this. <laughs> Woo. Yep. Through sex. Through sex and passion. Could even be a Sagittarius. They wanted to be this mother and trap you. It's a trap so that they can persevere. 
so that they could be have some form of control. But you could have walked away here. And now they're in sorrow. Five of Cups, sadness and grief, mourning. But 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 the thing is, they call it in their own heartbreak. Okay. They call it in their own heartbreak. And by them being in, in this heartbreak, being infatuated, and this is communicating justice. This is justice here. This is why this was blocked out. The answer is no. Somebody did this for money here. Look, the two of pentacles with the ten of pentacles. Instability. They wanted a solid foundation and family with someone here. So this not is knowledge of whatever this person and whatever they teamed up to do here. This is why they reunited with an individual. It's knowledge of these attacks too as well. They was using that sex boy, but all that sex did was call in heartbreak and despair. Even in pregnancy, even with being a mother. In this cycle, sacrificing the devil. Sacrificing being committed with the demonic energy. Because this was had in a devilish manner, in a devilish way, in a devilish form. This person wanted opportunity, so they was being manipulative. They could have used money. They could have used magic. They could have used money. They could have used fake love. They could have used lies, and they could have used sex to cause confusion here and to get commitment here. But this individual going to end up left out in the cold, and somebody going to be single and satisfied, and this person going to be panicking and worrying. So we have the end of a cycle and learning lessons here. So continue to learn. Don't let nobody hold you back from learning and doing what you got to do. Let me see. Where is that confessions deck at? No, I'm going to pull the T. What's the T on this person trying to trap somebody? Splitting the deck. Marrying for money. Dust it off. Let's see. What's T? Yeah, this individual just clout hungry here. Told you anything to get this marriage and baby honey. Yep, this person, it, it just be a lot of love triangle situations going on with this here. This person could even have other lovers. But this person was tripping on you though. Or this person could even be tripping on somebody else, but they was just trying to lock you down. Whoever this is got a low IQ. Not that smart. This person was even trying to peek into your life um, to stop you. Stop you in your tracks in different forms to see what was going on here. They wanted to know if you had um, some type of love affair going on here. So they was going to get readings done on you. Because you could have had some type of person that you had sex with or a secret lover. And they're hunted by this that you had that you was dealing with this person. So they've been going to get readings done on you. Yeah. This situation played out. You could have rejected this person that you had a, a love affair with. So this person decided to um, creatively munch off of the person that you let go. <laughs> so whoever this is, is played the fuck out. They've been stealing the person that you have had some type of secret lover or sex or romantic love affair with. They've been trying to be this person, steal their ideas, copy their work, duplicate them, and feed off of them. 
that's stupid. If somebody rejected somebody, why would you want to be, be like that person? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Honey, they was talking shit about this person, too, saying that they was broke and all of that. But they've been trying to be like this person. <laughs> they was just trying to cock block this person. That's why they was talking all of that shit. <laughs> and they be creating fake accounts looking at this person, studying this person, trying to steal what they got going on. They was also giving fake smiles to this person. Yeah, they've been thirsty trying to get the inside scoop on this person, all up in this person's business. This so broke. <laughs> People crazy as hell, fucking loser. <laughs> what is this? This person could feel, this person could have been abused or neglected as a child, or if they got kids, they've been abused and neglecting them. Child services is at hand, or they feel uh, neglected or abused by you. This person was in competition the whole time with an idol. It is love, respect, and admired here. This person been competing with this person here. <laughs> this person need to reflect because they wasting their damn time competing with whoever the fuck this is. You know, the broke person that they want to be. <laughs> Somebody could be uninterested in their own children. Or this person even getting pregnant is un really uninterested in the baby. But they just trying to trap somebody, find a form of way or to hold on. Or you could be uninterested in this person. Somebody could be traveling with a player here or travel with the player. There's proof and facts of this here. Somebody was also hooked on someone's sex here. Something is also going to happen to somebody's vehicle. Somebody has family issues to his will and they're going to go bankrupt. This person been fishing for comments here. Meanwhile, somebody is hurt, sad, and upset over you crying here. Maybe somebody is hurt, upset, and sad because they've been trying to compete with an idol and they still don't mount up. They found out that they was wasting their damn time and they need to reflect here. Somebody could have made some type of offer to the courts too as well. Maybe did some type of file, some type of order or something like that on somebody here to the courts. The fuck? <laughs> People crazy as hell. Yeah, this person was chasing love here. Chasing love, but it was a hustle, though. It wasn't love. This was this person's hustle. Mm, mm, mm. And these is the facts. It ain't no facts making shit up. This shit in reverse. These is the facts of what this person was doing. This is somebody's karmic friend. Your karmic friend or somebody else's karmic friend. They can't, you can't trust them. Can't fully trust them. Secret competition. <laughs> Making dirty offers in secret competition with somebody. In secret competition with the idol here. This idol got somebody head all in the clouds. This is crazy. But this the tea, y'all. Sip on this tea. Somebody was talking about you that wanted to be you. Yeah, because you the queen on the rise here, the idol, coming right after that. You stepped into your power, you're praised, you're coming up, you're loved, respected, and admired, okay? And this person is a fucking fan. But got the nerve. This person even be screenshotting your shit, trying to get evidence and proof on you and shit. This person got always got their mind on you, always curious about you. This person is obsessed with you. This is fucking dangerous. This is a karmic, whether it's this masculine or this feminine. Fucking dangerous. Okay, you could have good chemistry and great vibes and you're ignoring whatever the hell this is. Somebody could want you back, but they ain't shit. They could be creeping on you and you could be running. If you running, you dodging a damn bullet, okay? You could be a boss B, but this is these are spiritual haters and thieves. Yep, and stalkers.
So steer clear or whatever the hell this is. This is some bullshit right here. Yep, somebody up in their head too, stressed the hell out over analyzing shit. But yeah, this is dangerous. Somebody had their last chance or something like that. Yeah, there's a lot of neglect going on, whether it's with kids, whether it's within these relationships, whether inner child is being neglected or whatever the case may be. Uh, somebody could also be upset because you're unfazed about money too as well. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. You don't care about money or what somebody got. So it'd be causing somebody to stress out because you're not, you're not pleased. You're not moved. Okay, but this person finna get bad karma too. And somebody gonna have to move too as well here. But these people gonna get bad karma. Because they done switched. Yep, look. Wolf's in sheep's clothing. Then switched. Holding a grudge. And trying to dig up dirt on you because people could be blocked or somebody could be blocked here. Let them marry for money and kiss ass elsewhere here. Yeah, somebody could try to pull some scarcity tactics. Don't mind that. Reject that shit. Because these is wolves in sheep's clothing here. Yeah, somebody is going to have to be moving. Whoever this wolves in sheep clothing is is going to be moving here. They be on the same shit every day. Same shit, different day. Somebody be fantasizing here. But yeah, continue to dodge this bullet boss B. Somebody could be trying to make you an offer because they want you to be hooked on their sex. But call judgment on their ass and keep getting your matrix on. Do that dodge. You know, do that Neo. <laughs> do that Neo. Dodge these bullets. Because they sure as hell can't dodge a bullet. They running right into them getting lit the fuck. They running right into him, getting lit the fuck up. By a whack motherfucker that want to be you, that steady talk about you and shit. Call you broke, but want to emulate you. Fucking weirdo. This person is obsessed with this individual. Thoroughly obsessed. But oh well. That's what people get for going against the grain. Yeah, somebody can't make a decision. I can't make a decision. That's even more reason why you should stay away from this. Because this person wants to be tied to individuals who try to do all of this stuff to trap somebody and hold somebody down. Whoever this uh, person is ain't got no kind of balls. Well, I'm going to say they didn't have any kind of balls because this is the past. This cycle has ended. It's just letting you know what, what went on in the past. This is the past. This, this is what went on. This person has learned and been watching and evolving. But people are trying to also stop this person from evolving. And people use pregnancies and things of that nature to do this as well here. So this is the past. Even though I've been talking like how I've been talking, this is what occurred in the past. This person couldn't make a decision in. But it just shows the, how this person had no balls because it's like a no-brainer type situation here. Or this person could be feeling like this now too as well though as well but you probably don't even you know don't want to deal with this situation because of this stuff that was in the past you could have ended the cycle too as well here it says here why do i feel so lost is it over so this person has to find themselves here it says i wish to be like you so this person could want to be more like you it says they have hurt me. Yes, they did. Because <laughs> we just showed right in here what was going on. Person definitely got hurt. It says I don't know who I am anymore. So this person has lost themselves. Now they have to find themselves. 
So keep going. Like I said in the beginning of this read, keep going on your journey. Keep being inspired to level up and grow from all of this and do not let these people in these wolves and sheep's clothing get in your way because you will remain lost somebody saying you were right so somebody saying that you was right about what the heck was going on here but this is just showing you what went on the path in the past this could be just showing you what you even didn't see too as well in the past But since you are inspired in trying to overcome obstacles and trying to work hard and get those fruits from that and trying to turn your life around and trying to turn your fate around and making life changes within your life, do not go back here. Do not go back to the past. And do not remain stuck. Continue to evolve no matter what comes in your way because there is going to be obstacles and things that's going to come in your way trying to uh, restrict you from this change and from this level up somebody may even come in like hey i'm pregnant these things are going to come in to stop you from making this great change within your life so it's up to you to keep pressing on because you don't want to remain lost that's how you get messed up you was lost before and it's how you got caught up in this shit you want to get out of that So just keep going, heal, and connect to the divine, and think before you make decisions. Don't be hopping in with somebody because they look good. Don't be trying to deal with a chick because she got money. Think. Pray on it. Do your research. Because you was messing with some questionable ass people here. But, you know, we got to learn. So it ain't nothing to be mad about. It ain't nothing to beat yourself up about. It's a learning experience. You learn, you grow. Come out of it. So let's go ahead and pull a grateful heart message here. Because it's always something to be grateful for. Grateful for change. That's what we going to toast it to. Grateful for change. Let's get a grateful heart message for this read, please. Thank you. Look, those who hope in Yahweh will renew their strength. So put your hope and faith in Yahweh and you will renew your strength. You will become stronger. You will become better. I was just being a counsel to someone earlier, you know, telling them that about connecting and what I was discussing with uh, who I was counseling earlier was that that connection with the most high is important and not even just because of what I'm about to tell y'all. It's a long list, but I'm going to just talk about what, what, you know, to go together with this read. People are amazing actors. Even when you watch television. Those people are acting and you be into that, that television. Even some of these um, reality TV shows, they may be a little bit staged or whatever. Y'all be really into them. Am I right or am I right? So don't think that you're not going to have people out here that's going to be on the same type of time. And you will not be able to see it sometimes. You won't be able to see that wolf this acting like a sheep. This acting like they not going to harm you when they really ready to bite your ass. <laughs> you would be you you would be able to see these things because you are connected. Because the thing is, the most high Yahweh, he knows all. So he knows what a, what's on a person's heart and what's on a person's mind no matter how they appear to you. That's why I don't follow myself. I follow the divine because the divine knows better. And there have people been that have been amazing actors in my face, but I still knew what type of time they was on only because of my inner knowing and my inner guide. So that's why that is important for you to see. 
because it could actually save your life. My life was slaved plenty of times by the divine for what people had on their heart and their mind about me. Okay, because you could be one sitting up there with love on your mind, love, celebration, chill on some chill type vibe type stuff. You know what I'm saying? And on somebody else's mind is something else. So it says here, blessed is the one who trusts in Yahweh, whose confidence is in him. Okay, and these things are true here. I know by what I speak and be telling y'all most of the times, 9.8, 9.9 times out of 10, I didn't already, I can, a testimony for it. So we have here, we know that in all things, Yahweh works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So also you got to be thankful too, because maybe these things weren't executed because you have been called according to his purpose and that wasn't in his purpose for you. So you also need to be thankful to the divine that these things weren't able to get you and hold you down. Be thankful that you can make that change. Yahweh's blessings are as wide and deep as the ocean. So then we have here the faithful love of Yahweh never ends and his mercies never cease. On the other side, it says Yahweh has heard my supplication. Yahweh will receive my prayer. So when you pray, he will hear you. He will receive that and assist you and help you along the way. Okay. If you would just, you know, sit, trust and, you know, wait on him. He will get you out of that. Um. Yeah, that's what I'm going to just end this because it ain't nothing else. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep trying to make them changes in life. And it ain't going to be an easy road because when you're trying to make them changes, yeah, things going to come up against you and try to get in the way. Like so. Before you even started, something tried to get you. You feel me? So just keep going. Keep your faith. And keep your head up. You'll be all right. I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll see you all later. Peace.